morning, everyone. It's Kay Kaltoff. Welcome to a Stamp and Chat with Kay. I see we've got a few people joining us already. Thank you for joining me. We are going to focus on the Hello Cupcake stamp set. And I've got my fingers crossed that I actually have everything in front of me in order to make this a smooth stamp and chat today. It's a little exciting around here. Stampin' Up! surprised us this morning with a whole bunch of new options for our um, celebration $50 choices. So that was exciting. And then of course today is the very first day that we can get some coordinating products that work with celebration items. And so the coordinating products are for purchase only and they include things like framelits such as the cupcake framelits that I'll be using today on the Hello Cupcake card that I'm making for you. So lots of exciting things. And if you want to get all the details, um, along with little links to PDFs and things like that, be sure to visit my blog today or over the weekend. It's at www.stampingtoshare.com. And I did manage to get a quick post before going on this morning here on Facebook to uh, keep you all informed of everything that's happening in Stamping Up World. So it's really, really a fun day. I love this. Stampin' Up! is just so awesome at um, giving us all these little surprise and delight things. So good morning. It's welcome. It's welcome, everyone. It's so great to have you here. Oh, I have just the tiniest bit of coffee and I'd like to finish it before I get started. I didn't even have time to do my regular cup of coffee this morning just because um, of all the exciting things that was happening. I also have um, a brand new group member today that I'll be, uh, you know, making sure she's feeling welcomed. So I have to get a welcome letter out to her. And then we have another person in our group who promoted to Silver Elite yesterday, which is a big deal in Stampin' Up! And so I'm excited to have Michelle Rosberg join us at On Stage. So very exciting. She's not only going to be at On Stage, but she's going to be at the Center Stage event, which is a, an event that Stampin' Up! has just for leaders. So I have two people in my downline that will be attending with me. Uh, Tammy Nelson from North Mankato and then of course Michelle Rosberg, brand new Silver Elite Demonstrator from uh, Brooklyn Park here. So it's so exciting. I'm just, I'm just like, there's just so much buzz this morning. So anyway, I've got about two swallows here, so I'm going to finish this up and then we'll get started. Oh my goodness, you're already sharing and you don't even know what I'm giving away. Look at you guys. Well, I can, um, I can share with you that I'll be giving you choices. So when we do the drawing on Monday, sometime on Monday, I will let you choose. Uh, there's two ribbons. Well, there's actually three ribbons that we're using, but I'll let you choose from two of them. You can either pick the Pineapple Punch 1 8 inch designer or 1 8 inch in color ribbon. Uh, as your giveaway where I'll give you two yards or the other giveaway I'll do if you'd rather have it instead is our polka dot whisper white tool ribbon which um, is also being used on one of the cards oh my goodness thank you guys so much for sharing wow three shares four shares in a row holy schmoly thank you gosh you guys making my heart beat so hard. I don't think it's just from the coffee. It's just so exciting to see all of your shares. My goodness, thank you. All right, coffee is done. We can officially start this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is flip the camera down. I did get a card in the mail um, from someone who received, let's see, who is this again? Lisa. Johnson. Thank you, Lisa. I love the card that you sent to me. She sent a little thank you card to me because she had won one of the giveaways and she actually used the braided trim ribbon in her card. So I'll show you that first. Um, anyway, well, let's go ahead and get started. So let me flip this down. Okay, so we are ready. We are ready. Let me share you the with this card first. Again, this is from Lisa Johnson. She even decorated the outside of the envelope, which as you know, was my New Year's resolution and that's sort of fallen by the wayside. Oh, I've got to get that back started again. But I love this card. She used um, a couple of layering elements here and she, she 
she it looks like she stamped and colored this butterfly but it's actually a punch out from that beautiful botanical butterfly designer series paper as is this little strip here and then she has butterflies embossed on the background from from one of our embossing folders I think that's retired but it is a beautiful beautiful folder and that's again I mean with retired products as a demonstrator we typically use those more for personal use we like to show you things you can get however when you are a hobby demonstrator it is a-okay to use all of those good things in your stash and so I don't know if Lisa Johnson is is even a demonstrator but it's great to that she sent me this thank you card and this is the gorgeous braided trim I love the neutral color of it because it works with so many cards and so she used that here all right so thank you Lisa I truly appreciate it and let's let's look at the cards we're making today so um, on two of the cards we're going to be using the how sweet it is designer series paper I want to quickly show you this so I can get it off my desk so we have a little more room um, this is a fun piece right here it's kind of got a Highland Heather background with all these bright little dots so I was excited to use this paper and um, here's here's a really cute piece where you can hand cut these or there's a set of framelits where you can cut them out and so like I said this goes with uh, this is this goes with something in our occasions catalog it's not it it goes great with hello cupcake but I think it goes with I can't remember the name of it it's something gosh I have the catalog right here maybe I should look it up just because it's gonna bug me now if I don't figure it out but I have to find it first so bear with me I'm actually using it in spring fling so I should get this figured out pretty quick here I'm looking up nope nobody's written it up on the board yet oh here it is it's called sweetest thing so this is the designer series paper that actually coordinates with the stamp set called sweetest thing um, and I've just started kind of playing with that stamp set now so I'll, I'll surely uh, have something to show you down the road but for now we're looking at the coordinating designer series paper and these gummies are so cute my gosh how cute is that and then I love this the beautiful variegation here so anyway let's and I love this rainbow paper too basically I love this whole paper pack okay so here is the card that we're going to make and this is actually one of the cards we're making at spring fling it's just so cute um, I love the colors we're using Calypso coral this is a little layer here a flirty flamingo and then we have our lovely lipstick and it's just got so much pop and then this is a little bit differently designed in that it opens like this so you can see that the front of the card is like this and then when you open it up you have celebrate your day on the inside so just a great little card and this is the one we're going to do first today because then I have to clean my ink pads yes I do have my chamois next to me the second card we're going to make today is this one and it is a simple stamping card so it's just stamp 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 and the card is done so we're going to be using all these different colors uh, the colors on this card are gorgeous grape flirty flamingo and then of course the lovely lipstick so we are just branching out a bit with the uh, gorgeous grape adding that in there's the inside panel and then the final card that we're going to make is this one here and that's where I'm going to bring in the coordinating uh, call me couplet call me cupcake thinlets dies and is this not the cutest so this is this little dotted paper I was telling you about and then of course it has this just darling uh, little pedestal that you can sit your your little cupcake stand on and look it's got these cute little um, candles for your cupcake and it's just so adorable so I hope you guys love this and that you'll enjoy learning how to create this card so we're gonna set these two aside for the moment and get started with this one here I will grab all my goodies and we'll go ahead and roll now for those of you planning to attend spring fling those of you that are local here um, 
this is a good card to pay attention to because you're going to be making this. So we're going to start out with a full with a five and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of Coastal Cabana, scored at four and one fourth. So basically, it's like it's like uh, this. It's kind of like a you know you know the eight and a half by five and a half with with just something cut off. So. So basically, if you cut it five and a quarter by five and a half, make sure you do that four and one fourth inch scoring over on this side. So you're gonna have this little one inch flap that will be the top of your card. All right, so let me grab my bone folder. Oh, thank you everyone for all your nice comments on these cards. Here it is. Okay, so we're gonna take this away. Next, we're going to take that designer series paper from the How Sweet It Is paper pack, and this is three-fourths inches by five and one-fourth inches, and I'm wondering if I have everything I need. Remember, I told you I was in kind of a rush this morning <laughs> because of all the specials I had to uh, work into a blog post and then all the good things happening into our group, and I do need to run and grab some snail. And it's just so amazing how quick I can get back into the picture. Like I said, my, my office is kind of narrow, so it's just two steps away, which is kind of nice. All right, so we're going to take this and we're going to put a little snail here on the back. And then we're just going to center this in. Let me grab this here so that it is nice and even across the top. Remember, this is three-fourths of an inch by five and a quarter, so it fits... It fits here really nicely across the top as a little uh, banner. And then this is our inside panel. So the inside panel is, you know, your basic standard uh, piece of Whisper White here, four by five and a quarter. And we are going to just go ahead and do our stamping on this right now and get this done so that we don't have to worry about that. So I've got some lovely lipstick here. So we're going to open this up. And then we're going to be stamping on the inside. We're going to be stamping Celebrate Your Day. And I'm going to need a Stampin' Mat because this is a photopolymer stamp set. So we've got the Celebrate Your Day. We're inking it up with the lovely lipstick. I'm going to set this in just like this. Pretty. And then we're going to take another ink. And this one is called Coastal Cabana. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to grab a little sweet flower here that comes in the, uh, I should show you what we're working with, with the Hello Cupcake Celebration Set. So this is a stamp set that you can get when you purchase at least $50 in product from Stampin' Up, you get to pick something free between now and the end of March. And so this is one of the items that I picked. So let me stamp this sweet little flower right here. And the inside panel is complete. So let me, uh, let me just grab the snail again and we'll put this down. Okay, so we're going to put this right here on the inside. Make sure all your layers are even. Whoops. And then give that a press, and that's the inside. All right, so now let's work on the outside panel. So we've got a piece of Whisper White here. This is three by three and three fourths. And let me think how this needs to look here. So we are going to, again, take the Coastal Cabana ink pad and we're going to grab the cupcake base. So we're going to ink that up. And we want to make sure that we have it over. We don't want it really flush with the right hand edge. Otherwise, the top of the cupcake is going to pop out over the top here, which in some situations, that would look really nice, but I want it all contained on this panel. So when you stamp your cut cupcake base, make sure you have it over, oh, a good half inch or so from this right edge. 
and just put that like this. See how I left a little room over here? You don't want that too flush. Then we're going to uh, put that ink pad away and we're gonna open up Flirty Flamingo and we're going to ink up that little layer on the inside of that cupcake. And what I love about this is it's there's little, um, little muffin top to this and so that fits right into these little sections right here. So we can just set this in like so. And there it is. Isn't that cool how perfectly that fits in there? I just love it. Okay, so let me see here. I am kind of arranging things as we go. All right, the next thing we're going to do is bring back that lovely lipstick ink and we're going to stamp the, the frosting. This is the best part of the cupcake, right? So we're gonna stamp this right here. And that looks just perfect. One of the things I love about photopolymer stamps, of course, is you can see exactly where you're stamping. If you're not doing a video, when you're doing a Facebook Live or a video, you, you really can't get your head in there. So I'm very pleased with how that turned out, considering I can't really see what I'm doing. All right, the next thing we're going to stamp is the sentiment that goes off to the left here, which is sweet wishes. And we're gonna just set this in right here. Perfect. All of our stamping for this card is complete. Now we're going to set this layer onto a four inch square panel of Calypso Coral. So we're going to lift this away and we are going to add a little bit of snail here to the back. And then what you want to do is make sure that this is flush to the not flush, but you want to make sure there's a nice even border on the bottom and the two sides. So we're going to set this in just like so with our two sides even and our bottom even. And then just because I might have a little ink on my hand, I prefer to flip it over and do my burnishing from the back. And there it is. How perfect is that? Now all we have to do is set this in to our card and add our ribbon treatment. So the easiest way that I have found to do this is to just go ahead and put snail here at the top, or you could use glue. Oops, I'm getting snail all over here. Or you could use glue, which is also an option. But once you have your snail on or your glue at the very top of this panel, then you want to just make sure that everything is centered and that the bottom is flush with the bottom of the base card here. So this looks even to me. So then all I have to do is press this top down like so. And there we have our opening. Now if there is a little bit of unevenness at the top, you don't have to worry about that because we're putting ribbon there. So I'm going to grab our Whisper White polka dot tool ribbon and we are just going to take it from right off the roll and we're going to just tie a knot. You know what? I do need to cut this because it's just in my way here. But once, if you take it off the roll, you can kind of see exactly where you need to cut it. So then we're just going to tie it in a knot here right above the sentiment. All right, that looks good. And then we can trim that up. And trim up this side. Perfect, so we've got, we've got one little ribbon here which looks really nice. Then we're going to add the special touch which is our, oh dear, I can't remember the name of this. It is, in our catalog, in the occasions catalog. See, I told you I didn't have enough time to prepare for this. So let me just look it up real quick. I know, I kind of know where it is. Right here, it's the All My Love Ribbon Combo Pack. It's on the bottom of page five. And it's the Flirty Flamingo. 
so it kind of coordinates with the inside of this cupcake and with some of the paper here. So we're going to take about, I don't know, 11 inches or so, 10 or 11 inches. And what you want to do is then cut that in half. So you have two five to five and a half inch strips. And then you're just going to slide that under your, your tool. If I can grab it here. And you're going to tie it in a knot right over the top. Well, not into a knot. You're just going to do a tie-on because this ribbon is, is kind of thin and, and it holds really well just with a tie-on. So we're going to grab that and we're going to tie it on just like this. Look at that. It's so cute and it just adds so much uh, fun to this card. I mean, once you add this flirty flamingo, all my love ribbon combo piece. It just makes the card. Wouldn't you agree? So then you can trim up your edges. And I don't even really know if we have to. The edges look pretty nice. So we can just add a little bit of a peak here. Maybe just trim these down just a hair. Oh, you guys, this is so cute. And there we are. So we have our first card completed, and it's just a darling. And so here's the other one. Aren't they cute? It just did, did. Do you not agree with me that when we added the flirty flamingo, it just went, woo, isn't this cute? I just love it. I think that flirty flamingo ribbon was just the, the key to making this card just pop. It's just adorable. All right, so we are going to set these two cards aside. Remember, this is something that we're making at Spring Fling if you want to. I mean, if it bugs you that this is kind of floppy around here, you could take a glue dot. I didn't with these cards, but if you wanted to, you could add a little glue dot right here, and then that would just keep that kind of up there where you want it. But I think it kind of stays well enough, so we don't really have to worry about it. All right, now I need to grab my chamois. So we have to do some cleaning here because I'm switching some colors. So I keep my chamois just in a clear mount stamp case and I wash it about, I wash it out about once a week. I don't really fret too much about it. It's pretty easy to take care of. Um, and I just rinse it out with soap and water and then put it right back into my clear mount stamp case. So what else did we use here that needs to be cleaned? Some things don't. Um, because we're using the same colors, but I think I think I think I got everything clean that I need to clean All right, so let's go ahead now and make that super simple stamping card, which is right here There's only one thing you need to create this card and that is some thick whisper white and It will be hold on. I've got to grab it because I know you guys love this when I do it um, It needs to be five and a Oh, I did it wrong. Hold on. Never fear. I've got it over here. Again, just a little snafu because I was so busy this morning. I didn't have time to properly prep for this video, but we've got it. It was all pretty handy. So this is thick Whisper White cardstock. It's five and a half by eight and a half, and then I've scored it at four and a quarter. And we're just going to do our stamping directly on here. Um... And I hope I don't mess it up because I didn't even give myself a second piece of paper in case I did. So we're going to have to do this just really good right off the bat. All right, so here it is, and we're ready to roll. So I will need a piece of scrap. Maybe I can find that. Maybe I can't. Here we go. I'll just grab a Post-it note because we're going to be stamping off. So I'm going to grab some... I don't need it quite yet, but I do need to grab the cupcake because I like to stamp the cupcake first because that kind of tells me where everything else needs to go. So I've got the cupcake base here and we're going to stamp that in gorgeous grape and we're going to set this down. We're going to put the bottom of the cupcake about in the center of the card like that. And then we're going to, again, use Flirty Flamingo and stamp that, that little middle section of the cupcake. And again, that fits right into the top of the cupcake base. Then we're going to stamp our frosting with the lovely lipstick. 
and I have to sit really straight and peer over the top here. You know what, I'm gonna pull this towards me. Sorry if it's out of the picture. I just wanna make sure I'm getting this right. Wow, perfect. All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is stamp Sweet Wishes in the lovely lipstick, and we're gonna put this right here. And then we've got a bunch of little sprinkles that we wanna put on. So we're gonna put the sprinkles on with Coastal Cabana. So I've got that ready. So we're gonna um, put some sprinkles going this way and then just bring those a little bit off the, off the card. And then we're going to put some sprinkles right here and it's okay if they they kind of um, mix in with your sentiment, just like that. Perfect. And now we'll add some cute little flower touches. So we're gonna take this out of the way, and we're gonna grab a little teeny tiny flower, and we're gonna ink that up with the lovely lipstick, and we're gonna stamp oh a little flower there, and maybe a little flower up here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That little flower is so much fun to stamp. Um, and then we're gonna take the little bit bigger flower that's also in this set, ink that up with Gorgeous Grape, and we're gonna put it right here. And then we'll put another, maybe another one, oh, I don't know, maybe here. And then we'll accentuate one down here. And that's all there is to it. So we've got the front of our card stamped. The inside panel is easy. So we are going to stamp Celebrate Your Day because this is just such a darling, darling um, card. We're gonna do that in lovely lipstick. So we'll just put that right there. We're gonna grab those sprinkles again with Coastal Cabana and add those right here over the top. And again, it's okay if the sprinkles touch your sentiment. We're gonna add a little gorgeous grape flower off to the right, and then we're gonna add a little tiny lovely lipstick flower right up here. And that's all there is to it. Our card is complete. How's that for simple stamping? It's great. Oh, Linda tells me it looks like a party. I agree. I think all of those cute little sprinkles do make it look very, very festive. So if you ever need to stamp a quick card for a birthday party, the birthday party, this is it. It's just stamps, ink, and paper. Simple stamping at its finest. All right, so we can set that aside. And now we're going to grab, here's the stamp set that you can get with any $50 purchase from Stampin' Up! called Hello Cupcake. And I know many of you already have it. And starting today, you can order the coordinating framelits that go with it. Um, this is called the Call Me Cupcake Thinlet Dies. And they are for purchase starting today, and they will coordinate with your Hello Cupcake. I'm going to bring out the flyer. Again, you can find this flyer on my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com. And we also have framelits now that will coordinate with the Lasting Lily stamp set. We have hop around framelits to coordinate with So Hoppy, the So Hoppy stamp set um, with the little frog and it's just cute. It's even got a little lily pad here. How adorable is that? It also uh, has the Four Seasons framelit dies that coordinate with that bundle that was just released uh, about 10, 12 days ago, maybe 15 days ago. It was the middle of February when they released that. And then we have a brand new punch, and it's called the Story Label Punch, and it coordinates with the part of my story uh, sentiments that are part of the celebration offerings. But it also fits with a lot of other sentiments, and you'll notice there's another stamp set that you can order, and all of these coordinate so wonderfully with the existing celebration stamp sets that we have. And so um, lots of fun. I'm just so excited about this and hope that you are too because this really adds so much to what we can do with our celebration stamp sets. For example, this is the card that we're going to make now that uses 
this adorable little pedestal, and then all of the pieces that, that cut out the cupcake. There's even an inner layer piece to cut out that inner layer. So let's go ahead and get stamping. This is probably the card that's going to take the longest, but that's okay because I know you guys want to see the step-by-step. -step. So first of all, you're going to need some scrap Calypso Coral because that's what we're going to cut out our little um, cake pedestal with. And you are going to need some scrap Whisper White because that's what we're going to do our stamping on of the cupcake. And then we're also going to cut out those little candles. And so the rest of it, I think I'll just put away for a moment because we need to go ahead and get this stuff done first. So let me bring in the big shot here. Well, not quite. Let me do the stamping first and then we'll bring the big shot in. All right, so we're gonna take the, the Scrap Whisper White and we're gonna grab our Stampin' Mat and we are going to stamp and you wanna leave a little uh, space between this because remember your framelits have to fit in here. So we're gonna ink up the base of the cupcake with the Gorgeous Grape and just stamp that down here. And then of course we want to ink up that middle layer and we're just gonna stick with our theme here which is Flirty Flamingo because we've used that in all of the spots already so we'll just keep using it. And then we want our little cupcake topper, the frosting. We're gonna ink that up in Lovely Lipstick and we'll set this in right here. And then we have enough room to do the candles up here as well. So now we'll grab the Big Shot machine and we'll get this part of what we need done. You know what? We could probably not go back and forth with the Big Shot machine if I just did one more step. So let me do that one more step for you. And that is, we have to have our card base. And so this is our Thick Whisper White again. It's five and a half by eight and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this panel of the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. We're gonna put this panel on top and this is four by five and a quarter. And we have to put that down with a lot of adhesive. The reason is, is we're gonna cut out a big centerpiece and we wanna make sure that all of the adhesive is uh, going to stick so that it doesn't come away once that center panel is cut out. So I'll be putting adhesive, oops, if I can get it started here. Now why is this not working? Oh, there we go. So here's our snail and I'm just gonna put adhesive on all four sides. And then I'm also going to do it twice more down the middle. So that will keep everything nice and, and sturdy and stable. Then we're just gonna set this in so that all four borders are even. And that looks good. Perfect. All right, so now let's grab those framelits because you need to see what we're using here. So we're gonna take this little cupcake piece and I'm just gonna take a poker tool and poke this out because I wanna show you something that's really cool. It's just this tiniest little detail that you don't really notice until you um, actually cut this out. Let me hold it up to the camera here. Can you see that it actually cuts out a little tiny, tiny hole at the top here? Oh, I'm sure you can't even tell. But it's just one of those little tiny details that just make this so extra, so extra cute. And so, um, you know, to get a proper cut there, make sure that you have that poked out every time so that you get a, that little tiny cutout right here where the swirl is on the frosting. So we're gonna be using that one. And then of course we're gonna use the base of the cupcake. And then we have that little flirty flamingo swirl that we're going to use. So that's gonna go there. And then we wanna make sure that we get our candles out because we're going to be cutting that out here too. And there's nothing that we need to stamp. We're just gonna cut those out and then I'll share with you how to color those so it looks really cute on your cupcake. All right, and then the other thing we're going to need is the base. So this is the pedestal base. We'll be using that on our scrap of Calypso Coral. 
And we're also going to use the pedestal topper to put our cupcake into. Well, you know, give you the idea that you're putting the cupcake into it. Now what could be really fun, for those of you that are a little more you know, creative maybe than I am, you could actually put uh, window sheets back here so it would look like it's actually under glass. Or you could put vellum under there to make it look like it's uh, you know, something special under there and you would open it up then and see the everything in full bright color. So there's a lot of additional things that I know all of you are so creative and you could do, but I'm just doing the very basic here where we're just doing the cutout and putting the cupcake on the inside. All right, so now let's go ahead, grab that Big Shot machine and get some of this done here. So I'm gonna just kind of scoot all of this out of the way. And we'll get the Big Shot machine into the photo. I have to move a few things because this is a tight space. All right, so here's the Big Shot machine and I am layering everything up on my magnetic platform, which I love because it helps to keep my framelits in place. And if you use a lot of framelits and thinlets, it's a great idea to have a magnetic platform. Then of course I have my very used cut plate. Um, I don't know, they just, it just, they just last forever for me. And then I've got my, my card here. Now, the, the very important, do not set it like this and put your, let me show you what I'm doing. Don't set it like this and put this on here and then run it through because you're going to end up cutting through both layers of your card, which would not be good. You want to make sure that you actually have this open. So set your card onto your magnetic platform open, and then go ahead and take the little cupcake cover, and you're going to just set this in. I mean, you can just kind of eyeball it. You wanna make sure that the right and the left side are even, and then give yourself, oh, maybe about a half inch from the top of the card to the top of the framelit. And then you put your cupcake, or your, cut plate, I can't even talk this morning, you put your cut plate over the top and you're going to run it through. And I don't cut on my cupcake, cut, oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm getting cupcake and cut plate all mixed up. Whoops. So, you know what? I kind of messed that up. So I'm going to redo this. That's why I have a cut plate over the top that I don't actually cut on so that I can see when I put it over the top whether or not it wiggles, and it did wiggle there. So now I'm gonna set it on, and now it doesn't wiggle. So now I can run this through the Big Shot. And there it is, so we can just pull this out. Ta-da! Look at you guys, it just works so perfect! So there it is, that little hole is cut out of the front of your card so fun. I just love doing this. All right, and then we're going to cut all those other little pieces out. So let me get this back here. And we're going to need, let me cut this one first. So this is just that, um, here we go. It's just that little cake pedestal that we're setting on here. And this is a scrap of Coastal Cabana. So now we can run this through the big shot. Oh, somebody likes my nails. I just had them done yesterday, so they look extra special and pretty today. Thank you so much, Alice. And I always do the two-tone polish because I love watching the color variation, depending, like look at this one, depending on whether it's hot or cold, or whether I'm hot or cold. All right, so there we've got our little pedestal cut out. Now we're gonna push this back in. And now we're gonna cut out all those little pieces that I stamped and the candles. So you don't stamp the candles. There's not actually a candle stamp, but you can cut it out just with whisper white paper and I'll show you how to color it. So we're gonna run this through. Just make sure everything is all perfect. This takes a little while, so be patient with me. I'll see if I can comment on any of your comments. Whoops, now I just moved this out of the way. 
And then this one goes here. All right, that looks that looks pretty good. So I think, oh, the bottom one moved. Okay, that looks really good. I think we're ready to roll with this. So I'm going to, I'm going to be a little more fussy. Again, it's hard for me to see what I'm doing because I can't put my head directly over it. So we're going to set this in here and just hope everything holds together and works great, even though I can't hardly see what I'm doing. All right, so now let me take the big shot out of the way and we'll see how we did. Okay, here's the candle. So we're going to pop this out. Let me just grab my paper piercing tool. There's the little candles. So cute. And here's our cupcake base. Oh, look at how perfect that turned out. And then we have our little middle layer of the cupcake. And then we have oh the frosting. And look, it cut out that little tiny wedge right at the top, right where the swirl is. I just think that's adorable. Okay, so we'll set this all aside and let's go ahead and color these candles since that would be a great next step. Okay. So I'm gonna grab my scrap paper again. And what we're gonna do to color the candles is we're going to use some Bright's markers. And we are going to use the Daffodil Delight marker, and then you can also pick your Coastal Cabana marker. So I always start with the lightest color, and we're gonna color the flame with the Daffodil Delight. So really, it takes a couple seconds. And of course, you could use Stampin' Blends as well. Um, I just picked these because they were nice and handy, and I haven't used my markers in a while, so it seemed like a good time to use them. So here's our Coastal Cabana. And that's all there is to coloring the candles. You don't have to worry about this part because that's where you're gonna attach your adhesive to your cupcake. In fact, we can do that right now. So you can either put that on with a little multi-purpose glue, which I'll see if any of my glues wanna work this morning. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we got one started. So I'm just gonna add a little glue here to the bottom of these candles. And then I can set this right here onto our cupcake. You can just kind of wiggle that in until you got it right where you want it. And there it is, ready to go onto your card. All right, so let's bring the card back into the picture. It's a couple things that we need to do to keep preparing this. So we've got a one half inch by five and a quarter inch strip of paper that was gonna go on the inside to match what's going on here on the outside. So I'll just add a little multi-purpose liquid glue to the back of this, and then we can set this right here on the inside. Looks great. Now let's glue our cupcake all together. So we've got the cupcake base here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to the very bottom of this flirty flamingo layer. Set this down and we can just pop this right onto that. And that looks good. And then we can go ahead and um, glue this right down along with our pedestal. So we're gonna take our pedestal and it's just so easy. Just add a little bit of glue to it and we're gonna set this in right here. The glue gives you just a little bit of wiggle room. It just is so easy to work with. So there's our pedestal all attached. And then we're gonna take our cupcake and we can add a little bit of glue here to the back, just a tiny bit. And we're gonna set this in. And you wanna set this in so that the bottom of the cupcake is a little bit more to the left than what you think you would want to put it. And the reason is, is because again, we've got, you know, you want to make room for all of the different pieces that you're going to be putting on here. So if you, you, you actually centered the cupcake in the center, then your candles 
or the edges of your frosting might go outside of this holder. So you want to make sure that, that you put it on here so that the right side of the cupcake is a little bit closer to the right side of the cover. Okay, so that looks good. And then we're going to take our cupcake and our candles and we're going to put those on with dimensionals. So let me grab the dimensionals. And I'm just gonna, I mean, three is a little bit of overkill, but that's what I'm using. Three dimensionals back here. And then we're gonna set this right here on top. And you can see how now it all fits on here just perfect. So you've got your candles all contained within the cover and you've got your cupcake all contained within the cover and it just looks so nice. And now for the perfect finishing touches here, we wanna stamp a little bit more on the inside. So we're gonna stamp Celebrate Your Day. And let me grab my Stampin' Matte. We're gonna do this again with lovely lipstick to match our frosting and we're gonna set this right down here. Perfect. And then we want to add a ribbon just to give this a little bit of a colorful pop. So I've got some daffod, or let's see, this is the pineapple punch in color ribbon, which coordinates with some of these bright yellow dots here. Now that I think about it, I should have maybe used the pineapple punch on the candles too, but I think, you know, it'll work just fine. I wanted to use the bright set because then if you don't have the markers and you purchase the bright set, you'll get the Coastal Cabana and the Daffodil Delight all in one shot. So let me grab my ribbon scissors here. And now I'll grab a glue dot and we'll just put this on with a glue dot. And we'll set this in right here at the base of the pedestal. So cute, you guys. Doesn't that ribbon just make it? I love it. Okay, so let me, I didn't score this on the back here burnish this down. There we go. All right, so let me show you all the cards we did today. And um, I want to encourage you to share this on your timeline and let me know that you've shared because then you get in the drawing on Monday. Um, another thing I encourage you to do is, are you in my Happy Stampers um, Stamping to Share Facebook group? So if you are a customer or a, or a demonstrator fan, and you would like to get notifications of when these uh, specials happen or when these um, Facebook Lives, these Stampin' Chats are coming, you know, then I always make sure that I post in that group too. And there's better chances of getting a notification from a group than from my business page. So that is another reason to, to join that group that I have. And so let me put all the cards out that we did today. I think we'll get them all here. So I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being um, such good uh, viewers today and kind of, you know, I, you were a little patient because I wasn't quite all together with all the fantastic specials. So again, to check out everything that's going on with Stampin' Up! right now, be sure to go to my blog at www.stampin'toshare and you can get all the details there. So have a great day, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend. And I'm not sure whether I'll be doing anything on Monday or not. It just kind of depends. But again, if you're in my Happy Stamp or Stamping to Share group on Facebook, you will get the notification as to when I will be doing my next Stamp and Chat with Kay. Have a great day, everyone. I truly appreciate you. Bye-bye.